Welcome back to Watching Baseball. It is the 1999, only a couple more months between before Y2K. Mm-hmm. Everyone's bulking up because the clocks are going to attack the world. Life as we know it will end. But first, the Yankees go for a championship. My name's John Boy. This is Jake. We're watching baseball. How about that? Uh, these, as always, are brought to you by The Shop at johnboymedia.com. Jake, show them another one. Oh, another one? Wow. Okay. Found it. You can always go there and get that. Yankees swept in 1998, 1999. They look to do the same, Jake. They're playing the team of the 90s, the Braves. This is a cool World Series because I know we've been poking at our Braves fans a little bit. Uh, I think we're poking at McCarver when we do that. Yeah, yeah, and Braves fans um, because they'll want to think that, or they did think that during the 90s anyways to make Tim McCarver also say that. But uh, we've got two awesome teams here, uh, the Braves, Glavin, Maddox, Smoltz, Chipper Jones, John Sherholtz also in the Hall of Fame for them. Uh, against the 90s Yankees, and uh, I know we've been poking fun, but if if the Braves win this World Series, it would be 2-2 in the 90s, and there would be all these debates, who's the better team, the Braves or the Yankees, blah, blah, blah. Um, Is and, this one of the more talent-filled World Series matchups? IMO, yes, and I think more so it's kind of one of those weird things that there's so much that doesn't matter that does matter, like you said, Y2K and stuff, but this is the end of the decade. Like, we're wrapping up... The 90s, we're wrapping up the 1900s. We're wrapping up the yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,000 to 2,000. What do you call that again? The deca-decade? Decadence? Decadence, yeah. Um. So, yeah, I, there's some fun stuff going on, and I know this is something you don't care about. Ooh. Unless you do. Okay. Uh, this is the first time that World Series teams had played each other in the regular season. And then play each other in the World Series because oh, interleague okay. play was introduced play. two years ago. Yeah, but those teams had not played. Let each me see that side at? of your headphones. Like in the reflection, it looks like, yeah, you got a big gap over here and yeah. no gap here. Yeah, very interesting. This is like a crooked head. It's tough. That is cool. That it's the first time it. they played each other. I wonder if like the, the scouting report is such small sample size probably means nothing. But yeah, it, it's very cool. It was definitely something for uh, sports reporters to talk about and be like, they played during the season. Somebody won those games for sure. All right. We're going to game three. Threes. Yankees are down. Similar situation to 1998. Up in the series 2-0. Won the series. Having thrown 72 pitches. But are now. Glavin will start the eighth. Good hearing Uncle Bob in my ear. Well, Bobby Cox was optimistic in saying he wanted him to go seven. Uncle Joe. Glavin said he felt so good he could go Only eight. one headphone. So Looks like they've got an Olympics here. Yeah, inning. for me too, I think. Just this side. Yeah. But I'll guarantee the first sign of trouble, Bobby Bobby's going that's to. That's the Bob. Remember we saw Bobby Cox a couple years ago, and I was like, that's not the guy I know. The tough part about this first is the hero Glavin in this game in the is a bad is guy. He's had two good yeah. at-bats against him. I used to like watching him play. He lined too. it deep right. A tremendous leap. Joe Girardi, though. Brian Jordan. Then he Big fan of Joe Girardi. Joe Girardi's a great What's guy. up, Phillies? You like that? Just go the other way with it, kids. What the hell are you doing? Just know your role. Well, we've seen both teams Girardi knew solo home run doesn't adjusting. tie the game up. We saw Girardi go so he didn't right go for it. We got Jordan another fun fact from the series. Full of them. That's a good replay. That's a modern day replay. Yeah, that was nice. Girardi, Look at this. Well, okay, so this isn't Fox. Are they still rotating? This is NBC. So NBC, I wonder if they stepped up their game. Because the last time, they didn't even have the score bug on the screen. I think they were getting ready for the Olympics. Look at so Soho, they really turned things up. Soho's such a bench warrior. This yeah, sucks because we know reacting. Louis Soho. And but yeah, I just did a whole oh, John Rocker. <laughs> bad times. <laughs> Speaking of bad guys. Is it John Rocker versus panic. Chad Curtis? <laughs> it might be. Jesus, <laughs> a display of bad guys. Um, Chucky Nabla. Braves only hit one. One home back. run this series. Game one. Chipper Jones. Of tying the game. He hit it's a Chipper. Kind of crazy. Ball one. Scared of Chuck. My favorite Chuck Knobloch story is the yips had gotten Rivera so bad, ready with which Chipper Jones and Brian I think it's we mock it, but like, it's a terrible I don't know. Well, it's just, I think back then, I don't, society did mock him. Signs and stuff. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And, and uh, 
He, at one game, I think, versus the White Sox, walked off the field during the pitching out. change well, and walked that he can at, through the dugout, put, some put on his street on clothes, come in and walked in out of Yankee Stadium while the game was still That's happening. Probably part of and his thinking right now, not just to hold it close. He feels he that the eighth inning has been the Yankees inning. Just so depressed. And they have an opportunity to Jim get back, back in this game, or at least... He's back now, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's so weird. In the air to right. I block. Look at this. Let's watch this. To the track, to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Tough camera work at the time. You got Porch. The replay is funny. Big time Porch. Yeah. Huge for the Wiz. I mean, the Wiz thought this might keep them in business. Yeah. And it didn't. That's short Porch. I want to see the Yankees pricing of their ads. Because the short porch <laughs> has to be, uh, well, we talked has to be about the more in the center field. Manager. Look at that DVD, and by the way. Get digital. Right field, oh, and oh, hit oh, like oh. Hit bad his glove, maybe, but he had such a bad angle to get to, to pop it. up to right. That the ball bounces off and goes into the seats. Let's take a look here. I think it hit the top of the wall. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it hit his glove. We'll have to take another look there. Oh. Well, he was looking at it. the check of the glove. Because it hit his glove. Yeah. That ball yep. hits off his glove. Well, it was both. Yeah, he hit his off, glove and then hit the top of the wall. In there. Such an awkward position for Jordan to make the Maybe catch on. Imagine if he made, right he made that catch. And it hits off of yeah. his glove. They're still down 2-0 in the series. And it with a lot, but, I mean. Momentum. Glavin's gone. Knobloch celebrating. I mean, the game it's is just tied. a fucking pop-up toy. There's, there's something. Yeah, that's the tough part. But there's... You know, analytics people, oh, come at me, but there's something to momentum in sports, and there's something to... Look at that bat, dude. <laughs> the ball has been carrying very, very well uh, in right field. Now watch Jordan leaps. He gets a glove on it, but he can't bring it back in the park. Watch this. It hits off the left side of his They're glove acting like right we there. haven't seen it. Yeah. Five times. Not I mean, this is the first time they've had good replay, so they're <laughs> like, let's just hammer the this. <laughs> and kept him from All right, let's the go. Glove. We're showing sure. us something from the first inning. The ball, but this was a much tougher play Ryan right Jordan. here. And his glove, I think, hits This the was wall, him in the first inning. And that kept him from closing his glove. This is him in the first inning. What was that, dude? What was that? I, I'm hoping something got skipped there. Yeah. So now Cox and Mazzoni regretting the decision to allow Glavin to come out for the eighth. It's rocking. John Rocker, like, seven applied. Plus, allowed seven hits, John Rocker looked up to the distance. Nasty Boys in the Reds' bullpen. But the Reds were like, no, no we're good. We're good. You're not about to worry about this is, this is a pretty big... And again, it shows how we grew up a little bit. Well, and John Rocker, all time so bad Rocker guy. Comes into a but I mean, game. Rocker versus Cheater. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Good versus it's like Batman Jeter, type shit. <laughs> Williams. I think he gets Cheater here. That's a nice pitch. He gets ahead of Derek Owen, too. Tied it up at five. Braves are up 5 1 in this game. Do you think that's face Cheater just gave? He just gave him a little cute face. Where's well, the fastest the start stop follower? Having a pretty a good series. For one lead, and they keep pecking away at you. And Julio Lugo got you paid to play shortstop for a while. In this and now you're in a situation if they score Honestly, one run, know. you know you're going to be looking at Rivera. He fists one into shallow center, Did and it drops yeah. for a hit. Fists one into shallow center. Well, the analytics side of that's going to be a both set. Well, it's baseball. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to come out. You just it's, had a sip of coffee. It's coming at him. Well, How the Yankees, coffee? you know, they it's put okay. the ball in play with two strikes. This is a good pitch by... Well, that was cool that we got to see Jeter do that, but we're going to skip ahead. Gets it over, the over Brett Boone at second base. We're going to skip to the 10th inning. It seems like we just got a fun shot of someone on the Yankees bench that I want to want to look at. Thinking about it. Zimmer smiling. So, so Spencer. Jeter so. Spencer. Is that Ricky Leday? Relaxed and yeah, confident and Yankee bench. Chest. They Knob never panic. They just seem scared to know of his exactly own thoughts at the end of the bench. Charles. This is two bottom two nine, so I want to... Here it is. The two-run homer that even did at five. Handsome? Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is a good shot of him. And de- um... I want to skip to just the tenth. So we we Penis see. Can hit the ball out of this ballpark, especially if you get it middle in, as Constant. Tom Glavin did. That great white buffalo. 
Okay. So this it's 5-5 five, five in the 10. Second inning of work. Let's watch a little Mariano. Andrew Jones, who's one for four. His second inning we'll of work. Mm. It is funny that my brain sees the, the number 42. The second of the two home runs allowed this season and I by think. Mariano Rivera was hit by Andrew Jones like in this Mariano, ballpark you know? in July. Sure. I think they've changed my gotcha. perspective on it. Jackie Robinson. Okay. Strike one. Just poured that one. Here in, it right? is on July 16th. That's the last Ooh. time Rivera blew a save. High fastball up around his neck. So that's a fun storyline from when they played he in the season. The last the time we would have been talking about that, I still think Back that's going to be the, the last time he blew a save was July 16th. Knoblock and no Nobby. patience. Just let's get this over. Can't with. think. <laughs> Can't think. <laughs> you think about it. Yeah, that's yeah. when you get in trouble. <laughs> that's the home run he hit off of Rivera. He gets this ball away. You see, he hits it hard though. Good swing there by. Jones, he hits it to the second base. Yeah, but they him out at first base. Nice grab. The DH's spot oh, just beautiful. comes up now, and so does. So Ozzie I believe Guillen every batter bat for Jose Hernandez. Mariano was a pinch hitter in this so inning. can stay in the game <laughs> as the DH. How about that? Has proven that he can turn on the fastballs. Yeah. One for it eight. Had the best at bats against Ooh, Armando okay, Benitez that. of the Mets. That's good. In the LCS. I mean, that's the I'm pitch. Sure he thinks that he can handle <laughs> that's that's all it was. Too. I think it's when we watched the '96 World Series, I think we watched Rivera at bat, and they brought in a lefty break. to face you know, him. It was one of those things like in on you if you're a left-handed hitter and moves away. They didn't know he was a setup guy then. It's not like a slider where you can you're read it. Be okay it's with the right. Fastball with you can't even see the rotation. You're not going to be okay. I mean, those bad swings. Well, we have a chance. Here's a report. On the boy who was hit on the head. <laughs> I don't know who's supposed to hit. But. By the bat that well, I'm telling you, I think every, I think all three batters a in this was hit on the forehead. Andrew? He was taken to the first aid room here at Yankee Stadium. He was able to walk and talk. He never lost consciousness. Really no about? bleeding, but a large welt on his forehead. So they took him to the hospital to be examined as a precautionary measure. We're told he had the bat with him in the ambulance as they drove him off. What did we miss? Who are we talking about? One and oh. two. So Ozzie is pinch hitting for Jose Hernandez, the DH. Yeah, Jose Hernandez. Up in his eyes, and he fouls it back. And then we're going to get two more pinch hitters. So they empty the bench. Are getting ready. Tenth inning. Against Quite Mariano. possible that he'll be in for Rocker mm. in the bottom half of this inning. Yep. I don't think there's any doubt that he's going to take Even Rocker out for a couple of reasons. One, you know, he's thrown two innings, and if the Braves can score a run or win this ball game, they're going to need Rocker the rest of the way. It's all head games. Let's go to he's Craig. standing and so far be a away switch from the play. Ryan Klesko's on deck. And I feel like Greg he's trying Myers to make an adjustment. Like, all right, I want to into me. Look how far away he is. He didn't even yeah. cover the outside. I think that's why Rolled he's trying first to and foul. be able to turn on that. Another good pitch there by Rivera. A jump, skip, and a hop. Mm -hmm. One out, nobody on the one-two pitch. Went high on him. Oh, I love that. Ozzy. A little firecracker, Ozzy. Yeah. Good energy on him. Again, it proven that he could get to the fastball. So what is Rivera Don't cut do? this replay off. I want to see the, the bat. Zone. Look at this. Way Flip up. and you then can't get to that slap. One. He had been fouling off the good slap. pitches. Yeah. So Rivera just throws one a little higher it. than he can reach. There's Walt Weiss. What is he throwing? So here comes Ryan Klesko. Scotter. A threat, especially mm. in this ballpark. 21 homers for the year. Inside ball one. Inside. The Yankees have pitched Klesko inside the Watching Mariano pitch. Series, so it's such a weird expect, thing. You know, Rivera to throw in off the plate, too. They don't want him to get something. I mean, I did it for 20 years off. of my life, basically. He pops it up. Know? Girardi off with the mask. Back near the screen. No play. But I don't know. Like, you, you can't follow the count. There's no point in knowing, like, the, what sequence of pitches he threw. Especially at this point in his career, like later on, he, he 
the started having some fun with it. Yeah, he started throwing a two-seamer, and he would mix and match her. A little bit, looks pretty good. but by the time you start at this point, like, he is throwing at you, it's one pitch. To keep it fair. And it's that. 1-1 one, one pitch, broken bat, not blocked. Oh, a a leaping cool. attempt, but he can't get it. There he is. You get, he got a this is a good fake attempt. That, Let's be honest. I don't, if you, if he didn't have his eye on the ball at all. Back, if you show the side angle. Ball over the infield. Now watch. He takes a big like he swing, might have been close, but, but he that, wasn't he looking can't at get it. To it. Let's see. But I, think if you, I think it's going to show like, like 10 that feet away from it. Right it's a good jump to let the stadium. Yeah. You, you so keep Plesko's momentum. You don't in want the, the drunk guy now, in the Brian upper deck Hutter saying, "Well, back. why didn't he jump for and that?" Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For him. So and you get a big. Ten, oh. Myers will catch Everyone's with Perez there. out, and Klesko will become the first yeah. baseman with Hunter out. But you have the lesser glove man at first in Klesko. Mm -hmm. Nice pitch. Well, if you're Bobby Cox, <laughs> you have to score a run. <laughs> what is it? That's your main objective right now: is to score Who's a run. You've lost all your opportunity to just play it's defense. Really in this like game. you, huh? Yeah, the, his stick. Myers out a little had more. a couple of hits in game two, which he Mine started. Just elf ears. Foul, I think if you two. tightened up the hair, like you, you had Mariano's hair and it was just baseball I mean, hat and ears, I think it'd look pretty similar. Uh, I mean, uh, no, I hit poke out. I used to go down to like a two. Mine are mine are pretty pinned in. There's not a lot of gap. Like he can fit a whole thing. I like to see on the big screen. I mean, he just does not make Greg any mistakes Myers. with that pitch. He you, never Greg leaves Myers. it out over the plate. Yeah, look how far away Here's he is. Here's the 0-2. Yeah, all the lefties are hoping. Myers they, checks his swing. It. Mariano Rivera. That ump. I know that ump. Well, let's uh, take a look at this 0-2 pitch. Joyce? Well, he's got yeah. two strikes. He tries to get Myers to chase that pitch that Ozzie Gia swing. struck out on. He doesn't do so. Well, he finally left one over the plate. Yeah, but he can't even cover that. I think that was the whole design. This pitch. This is the They're first standing pitch. so far away. He's been in the ball game like he left in the like middle of the plate. Watch where it is. Yeah, but, hit, I mean, right, but it's right there. Oh, it's out there. And Myers misses it probably because he had two strikes and he's protecting a little bit. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Another one-two pitch. So that's, that's, that's like what, to his right to pick that's it why they're standing far away the for that right there. They still just, just a good one. got good wood on that one. To the bottom of the ten. All right. Atlanta has out hit the Yankees. Curtis Girardi Nava. Rockers <laughs> done. Remlinger's in. Not the most intimidating the bunch. The season. No, they there belong on the Mooney Club Twins. Probably got that year wrong. And this huh? is a huge inning of work. Obviously, everyone is in extra oh, innings, but Tough Mariano spot. Rivera has not thrown more than two innings at any time so, this year. Joe Torre has used him for two innings Mo? several times, but He's never beyond that. It doesn't matter, and Bob. And so, if Remlinger can get the Yankees just said, out I'm in the good. tenth, I'll go eight the more. invincible Rivera is gone, and not that Ramiro Mendoza is any slouch, but they'd have a chance against him in the eleventh. No doubt that both teams are looking at it that way. Should have just sure left Joe it. In. No, no doubt. Said, no doubt. <laughs> don't don't ruin this the baseball broadcast. No doubt. Then it switches good to shit, Bobby Bob. Side, so. <laughs> Now you, you're going to end up with your two stoppers out of the ball game. It's Greg. Get it back, Greg kid. Myers, the new catcher for the Braves. Ryan Klesko over at first base. Mm. Yeah, a lot of guys got into the game just to have a bad memory. So the pinch hitters stay in the game. Here he comes. And Curtis, who's one for three. Future but that pedophile, you remember, Chad Curtis. You remember the other Leads Braves World Series where Klesko won it at first base? You made an error right away? Yeah, this is the first play. Tough break. Girardi on That's deck. what Bob was just saying. They and got a bad glove man at first. Until he him. And foul. Foul to the seats. What do you think Very was going to happen there? I thought first pitch, pitch homer. <laughs> for Remlinger, just to Maybe get a second pitch? Front. See, the one thing you have to do at this stage Remlinger. is you have to stay in front of the hitters man. if you're good the baseball. visiting team. I wouldn't Only want it. One sport. I wouldn't want it. Only one one sport. But I'd want a teammate front. to have it. You pitch from not behind and you're going to get not hurt. playing football. No. You're a baseball player. Remlinger, so. yeah. No. Pitcher left field. Curtis Three, two, one. Curtis for the year pitcher, with five though. home runs. You're not playing basketball with the last name of Remlinger. Remlinger's 0-1 pitch. Remlinger? Are they doing jer? Jer, yeah. Remlinger. Uh, I like Remlinger. Remlinger's better. 
Remlinger. Bobby's had to make some tough decisions. I was just trying to help him out. And I think the toughest one was to, whether to leave Tom Glavin in to start the eighth inning or not when he had a two-run lead. That was a very difficult decision to make. Bit sweat hat. Kind of weirded me out. It looks like he painted the sweat on him. Ooh. He's the left. It's deep. It's very deep. It's three <laughs> nothing Yankees ah. in the series. Do you like that call by Bob? I'm surprised more people haven't clipped that and used that in a silly way. It's deep. It's okay. It's very deep. It's three nothing Yankees in the World Series. I like the it's deep. I don't like following it with the it's very deep. I think you got an audible from something there. Dude, why is Tory and O'Neill always? Professionals. Like, he almost stops Mel and is like, oh, and he was like, no, 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 no. I get it. And then the face hug by Joe. So Joe's worried about Paul, man. I love a good Italian the face hug. Tomorrow night because Chad Curtis, a man who hit five home runs all year, clouded This one. Tonight. They pick him up? Oh, no. And Bob, how good okay, are these Yankees? This I mean, had to really suck. Tory with yeah, another face hug. So is he hunting off speed block. here? Because he's all over the place. Looks like it gets the Miller to play. Come on. Ooh. Right Come on. Don't celebrate him. He's a bad guy. Yeah. He's That's in jail. We love his one throw from the outfield. And it's a pretty good O'Doyle rules right there. The Yankees have won 11 consecutive This had to really suck for the Braves. Because you lost to at home. You're in the stadium. You're up 5-1 with Glavin throwing the pill. And then to have it end on this, especially, like, first at bat, Chad Curtis, like, you're saying, like, okay, let's get Curtis, let's get Girardi, you know, Knobloch, whatever, make sure he doesn't beat us, and then Chad Curtis takes you, and you're just like, oh, there goes our season. Because of what happened with Pete, we're we're not going to talk out here on the field. I do want to say that was for you, though, Grandma. Thanks. What? We're not going to talk, you know, as a team. Thank you very much, Bob. Chad, tell us about that pitch. Uh, I, I can't do it. You know, as a team, we kind of decided that, you know, we because uh, of what happened with Pete, we're, we're not going to talk out here on the field. I do want to say that was for you, though, Grandma. Thanks. Well, Chad, you don't want to talk about the home run? What happened All right, with Pete? Bob, back upstairs to you. All right, Jim. Chad Curtis is the Chevrolet player of the game. His homer started the comeback from 5-1, made it 5-2. What? And then in the bottom of the 10, the first and only man Pete? faced by Remlinger. He drives one over the fence and left to win it 6-5. to five. And What again, was this that? Is, you have to give this entire ball club a lot of credit. Chad Curtis is the hero They tonight, had to be But furious. there were so many other heroes. I mean, they just kept coming back. Jeff Nelson pitched great. Grayson Grimbley, they held the Braves until they That's were able so to weird. come back. Do you have it? And Chad Curtis Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll pause this. So there was a Pete Rose interview after game two. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's so it was with Jim Gray. And it was a, a the article I'm reading contentious two and a half minute interview with Pete Rose. Um, and yeah, they. So their fire shot fired back was, damn. Hold on. So what was the interview? We kind of decided because of what happened with Pete, we're not going to talk out here on the field. That's so weird. I'm Googling it. I'm trying to find it. Curtis said it wasn't personal with Jim Gray. It's just something the team decided. Um. And then, yeah, I guess Pete Rose, I guess Jim Gray didn't apologize after it because he was, like, standing behind it. And then after (laughs) this, he was like, okay, I'm sorry, baseball fans. (laughs) Oh, so after this, he apologized? Yeah. After viewing the videotape, I can understand the reaction of many baseball fans. Gray told NBC audience before. I thought it was important to ask Pete Rose if this was. So hold on. I mean, this is about the Yankees. Yeah. That is so weird. Um I wonder, because Chad Curtis, the Yan- Jeter did not like Chad Curtis, and the Yankees basically got, got rid of him because Jeter said, get rid of that fucking dude. Because yeah. uh, he was super religious and would put his religion on people, and then it turns out he was a pedophile at the end, so maybe Jeter had some good instincts. Yeah. 
and all that stuff. I don't think this is related to it. I want to see, is this the combative interview? Um, Ceremony marking a return to the baseball spotlight. He's with Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Hannah. Pete, congratulations. It was quite an ovation. Well, All century all team. Pete, let me ask you now. It seems as though that there is an opening. The American public is very forgiving. Are you willing to show contrition, admit that you bet on baseball, and make some sort of an apology to that effect? No, no, Jim, not at all. Uh, I'm not going to admit something that happened. I, I know you get tired of hearing me say that, but. Uh, I appreciate the ovation. I appreciate the American uh, fans voting me on that all-century team. And I'm just a small part of a big deal tonight. With the overwhelming evidence it's a good line. that is in that report, why not make that, that step with this opening? It's a festive night to worry about that. I mean, I, because I don't know what evidence you're talking about. I mean, just show it to me. Well, well, that report said, but we don't want to make that, Pete. Well, why not? Why don't we want, why do we want to believe everything he says? Why did you sign a paper uh, acknowledging the ban? Why did you sign it if you didn't agree? To yeah, but it also, it also said you're yeah. not going to apply for reinstatement after one year. If you remember correctly in the press conference. As a matter of fact, my statement was, I can't wait for my little girl to be a year old so I can apply for reinstatement at my press conference. So you forgot they had that clause that was in there. Well, you have reapplied. Or you have applied for reinstatement in 1997. Have you heard back from Commissioner Seelick? Uh, no, and uh, that kind of surprised me. It's only been two years, though, and he's got a lot of things on his mind, but uh, uh, I hope to someday. Pete, it's been 10 years since you've been allowed on the field. Yeah. Obviously, the approach that you have taken has not worked. Why not, at this point, take a different approach? Well, when you say it hasn't worked, what do you exactly mean? I mean you're not allowed in baseball. You're not allowed... Yeah, I'm with... I'm against Jim Gray, and Pete Rose did bet on baseball, and there is evidence, but, like... There's just, no place for this. This is not the time it's nor the, place. All century team. Pete You're Rose fucking is back on the sideline reporter. If Pete Rose had a- asked you and been like, "Hey, I want to make my apology tonight," like, let's do it. But I mean, yeah, this is Jim Gray trying to create the story. This is as bit. This is like the term "sandbag reporter." Like, gotcha. That is, that's gotcha journalism. We joke about it. that. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. All right. Good for the Yankees if they actually decided we're not going to talk to you because of that. Because that is some bullshit. The, the universe... It's an vo- ambush. They vote him to the all-century team, and that's what you do with your yeah. two-minute interview? Go fuck yourself on that situation, Jim Gray. Atlanta's last hope is Keith Lockhart. Streamers are already down. This three. is the last out. Barrel it up, Keith Lockhart. I'm glad Ums don't wear red anymore. Mix it in. Have some fun. <laughs> fly balls. The New York Yankees fly balls are the best last out. Champions, team of the decade, most successful Showing the ball. Team of the decade. Of the Changed his tone. Play Ritz. So Mariano kept his legs about him this time. Or he's just being held up. There's Dono. Queen. Queen just made stadium anthems. I mean, this is their third in four years. Do you think you can tell by the celebration? Or for a lot of these guys, can does it look like first time again? It's a loaded question. I mean, you don't get the dog pile. Which People get I, hurt I, in those I dog think piles. That's part think, of it. But exactly, yeah, that's yeah, part of being knowing. a team that's done it before. Yes, yes. Someone do the stats on dog pile uh, in ratio to times one. <laughs> crunch those numbers for me. Do we get any post game here? Is Jim Gray going to get? When you play a dozen postseason games against the best competition your league and the other league has to offer, and you win 11 of them, it's case closed. Well, I agree with you. I don't think there's any doubt about the best team the last couple of years here. This is the same. <laughs> Who is that? I think that's Larritz. Saying get out of here. Yeah, get, get that camera out of here. We don't want you here. I've been 
I think someone's in their cabin like a crazy emotion. Is it is it Mo? O'Neal. O'Neal. Holly was really everything went sour for them here. Getting after it. And the New York Yankees. This team may be better than the team last year. Statistically it's not going to kind of want to uh it is certainly one of the most resourceful teams I have ever seen. Well, we said it all along with they really know how to win. They know how to play the game. They know how to play the game. So what? O'Neal wiping tears away. In a day or two, he'll bury his father. Oh. Tonight, for the third time, he's a member of the world championship team. Yeah, that's emotional. And I'm with Jim Larritz. Get that camera Joe out of here. Yeah. Whose season began with the frightening news that he had prostate cancer. He's made a very fine recovery. Those Rockets kids. That's cool. For him as well. and perhaps it's most satisfying of all the people in pinstripes tonight. Cash. Roger Clemens. His Hall of Fame credentials long since established. <laughs> five Cy Young Awards. Five times the strikeout champion. Six times the ERA champion. The one thing he didn't have. A World Series victory and most importantly, a World Series ring. I like the idea he's of Cashman just clapping and, and, and welcoming him like he's... Not on the team. Oh, Harabu, that's another sad tale. Aduke. Dono, young Dono. Scott Brocious, last year's World Series MVP. Mariano Rivera, it's just been announced, wins it this time. I think that's all. The uh, the amount of like kind of backstories that we know, I'm sure there's tons for everything, but a uh, lot going on there. Yeah, a lot of guys. A lot of stuff happens when you have 25 guys, different yeah. points in their lives. Yeah, a lot going on off the field. That's cool. Mariano Mariano pitching is still just insane to me. Throws one pitch, I can't get him out. Would have liked would have liked a better series, TBH. Yeah, you would have liked the Braves to take it seven. If any matchup should have went seven. Come on, Braves. Do it. Come on, Braves. Chad <laughs> Curtis. Chad Curtis. Come on. Bad guy. And uh, we buried the lead with Jim Gray. Didn't realize. Sandbagging son of a bitch. That. Thanks for watching. See you later.